I hear rumbling in the skies. Uh, anyways, DJI has released a new firmware update for their DJI FPV drone. Uh, I'm out here to give it a try and I'll let you know if I could feel the difference and what other things that are good about the new update. Alright, um, hopefully before the weather comes in. Never mind, it's okay, I'm in shelter. Um, so this firmware update is V01.02.0000 Some of the things that have been added to this update is that now you can enable or disable video subtitles um, Basically that means um, OSD now will be captions in your video So you can then put it on your edit Probably it will be more useful for me because now I can have um, data of the OSD in my tutorial videos um, too bad you can't really have actual OSD on because that would be nice to see but um, I guess this will do for now You can then trigger the Find My Drone by pressing the mode button and break button simultaneously on the motion controller They've added uh, the option to have now uh, your auxiliary light to be flashing when you have activated Find My Drone You can then start stop motors using your C2, your custom 2 switches uh, which will be useful for me, it will be more of What's norm la. for a traditional FPV pilot? It's it's more common for us to use switches instead of buttons to trigger our uh, motors. Okay, some other things you can now uh, HDMI live broadcast onto the smart controller. I don't have that anyway. The controller is too damn expensive. Okay, some hints on goggles for updates, uh, manual mode limitations, um, critical battery warnings. There's optimized flight safety and optimize flight experience while you're in manual mode so that's what I'm looking out for okay want to feel whether I can really feel any um, difference in the flight characteristics yeah. um, so here are some notes for you when you want to do this update um, do all these updates at home because firstly it takes a while uh, it took overall for me like around nearly half an hour downloading the update is fast but then it has to transfer all the information from goggle to controller controller to then uh, the drone itself also so all this will take some time the battery also needs to be updated okay with this new firmware so if you've got like me I've got four batteries um, that means each and every one of them needs to be updated okay here's very important when you're doing this update please have your props off there's no reason for you to, to at all at any point of time uh, when doing this at home to have your props on from experience i'm going to share with you that um, i've had this thing happen to me that during an update of a firmware for one of my diy drones the drone suddenly just um, motor started running i tell you if you have your props on somebody's gonna get injured or the drone is gonna fly to the moon so have your props off by the way that line fly to the moon is not from me it is from joshua bartwell or maybe he got it from some, somebody else i don't know so anyways yeah it just uh, credits go to them uh additional things is that your rates will be reset when you update this firmware and plus a few other settings uh, i just want to tell you that go and check through all your settings your and, and re-input your rates again because that's what you have to do after your firmware update some things that are not corrected is for example like um, for me, it's a pet peeve is that because I fly with the DJI goggles on the DJI FPV drone and also a DIY drone. Now, my DIY drone carries a air unit and also a Vista. So, that means for me, I will have to rebind. Okay, I don't know why after, after, after uh, when you do this switching from DJI FPV to traditional FPV and back, you will have to rebind the uh, a unit and DJI FPV drone so that's quite a hassle too bad for this firmware update they did not did not uh, um, correct this uh. okay so for this flight um, some things that are consistent is that I'm gonna still be having my camera at the external camera mount mounted on top of the DJI FPV drone um, same rates and also I'll be changing to a fresh new set of props um, I guess that will give it a more consistent feel than um, compared to how the old firmware was and also the, the camera is not stabilized so you can see every shake shudder or whatever reaction that the drone has you will be able to see it in the DVR itself okay weather is coming in a bit so um, I hope you can hear me I'm just gonna give a quick opinion on yeah as I fly I'll just walk you through it let's get going then Hmm.
Do I feel any difference? Uh, on the fly, it feels okay. Um, smooth, I would say, but I can't tell for sure. Maybe the handling has been improved because I don't see... Oh, prop wash is still there. But I guess uh, prop wash is a bit harder to tune because uh, it's quite a heavy drone with underpowered motors. So that's going to be quite a challenge. Okay, a bit of split ass here and there. Oh no, weather is coming. I feel my feet wet. I don't know how to really be sure but I do feel like the, uh, the, the controls are a bit sharper um, Maybe just slightly Can't tell for sure Oh Taking turns Much lesser prop wash Yeah, yeah, much lesser prop wash I think maybe they have done something for the pit tuning Wow, that kind of sharp turn handles well, man. Oh. Okay, a bit too much rain, I'm gonna call it in. Okay, let's see how this switch uh, for motors on, motors off will be of use. Alright, hey. Having the switch is much better. I think, yeah, definitely it is uh, one of the things that I will recommend if you wanna add on your controls to become uh, on off motors on the custom 2 switch. Uh, I think, oh, yeah, I think that's best. It's raining, it's pouring. Rahim has no other choice but to land his drone uh, because I'm not gonna continue flying while the weather is coming in. Anyways, um, but for that short period that I experienced um, pushing the drone a bit harder, um, I guess the most noticeable thing that I, I realized is um, it's stable i guess there's lesser prop wash now um to to reduce prop wash that has got to do quite a bit fair bit about with regards to the um pit tuning but the drone doesn't have pit tuning that you the user can assess ask the user can assess i guess dji have fine-tuned that to make the whole flying experience just a bit better smoother definitely i do like the addition of the switch now that i can on off my motors with just a flick of a switch very familiar as a traditional fpv pilot also so i guess on a final note um if i were to say do you have to really go and update this um new up to this new firmware um not exactly necessary because the drone did fly okay even before the update uh, there were the additional features um to this new update that you may find useful if it is of any use to you then update it to the latest firmware i have no real reason to tell you also not to update so i guess if you could spare the time uh, go and update to the latest firmware and just enjoy the flying experience um, hope these little things can make the whole uh, F uh the whole transition into fpv just a little bit better anyways i'm gonna wrap up this video right here if you've liked this episode do give it a thumbs up now um, if you've not subscribed there'll be more fpv dji fpv content coming up so do follow me by subscribing um, also if you have any questions do chat with me in the comment section i read every comment all right it's whether i want to reply to you if you're giving me a nasty one i'm just gonna close that comment or delete it all right um, and pilots as always this is rahim and i'll see you in the skies peace